everybody. Um, this is Danny with Mondays. I talked to Mallory this past weekend and she said she wouldn't be able to make a video, so I told her I would happily fill in. And me and her will probably be in contact where if I can't make a video, then she will, or if she can't, then I will. Um, there were only a few videos posted this past week. I think just Sarah, Bronwyn, and Lauren. And I think the kitten video, as someone suggested, may have been Paige, which I don't think I've watched any of her videos yet. Oh, I lied. I think I've seen one of them. Um, but since I don't really have any questions to answer, then I just want to say first and foremost, thank you, thank you, thank you for all the welcomes. I'm so excited about this project. And I feel really bad that I can't post videos until Monday evenings. Um, I could make them Sunday night, but my fiance usually is over at my apartment a lot on the weekends, and um, I feel kind of weird recording in front of other people, so um, I could do it Monday mornings too, but usually it's pretty hard to get up in the morning, especially when it's cold and I have marble floors, and that makes it really hard to get up in the morning. And I just changed my sheets yesterday from the sheets that are always cold at first when I crawl into bed to the comfy jersey knit ones that are eternally warm. So it was even harder to get up this morning than most mornings. Um, this past week was crazy, absolutely insane. insane. Um, Saturday, me and Kyle got a lot of wedding stuff done and like looking at our guest list, trying to collect addresses. We went to the rental place to price how much renting tables and stuff would be. And um, just ran around, I got a haircut. I colored my hair last night and you can't even tell. I apologize for the way I look. I went to the gym and then I went out with a friend to talk about wedding stuff and it was raining. And um, I think in my other video, my hair was straight, but it's actually naturally curly as of about five years ago. So, I mean, you can kind of tell. Um, but yeah, and my hair was a very ugly faded red color and it was growing out on top. My natural hair color is maybe a light brown. Um, and I colored it last night to a little bit of a darker reddish brown. So, I can't even really tell the difference and it's not enough of a change for anybody else to really tell either. But, um, I do color my hair. Uh, I have for the past couple years. It all started when I just wanted to highlight my hair blonde with one of the little herbal essences kits with the little comb in them. And I made the mistake of letting my mom do it for me and she kind of got comb happy and kept combing and basically colored the whole top layer of my hair. And I just because I love red hair and I've pretty much colored it red ever since, maybe brown here and there. But I colored it brown this time because I still can't decide whether to leave my hair more of a natural brown color for the wedding or to color it red which is my favorite and would look fantastic in May in the sunshine so anyway maybe you guys can help me out with that um, my soon-to-be sister-in-law had her fifth baby last week um, I'm not quite familiar with how to stick pictures in the middle of a video yet so you can't see that at all. Never mind. Oh, there he is. You can sort of see him. Little cell phone picture. It was a little too bright there for a second. Um, beautiful baby boy named you and Roger after, I think Roger's after her dad. And he's so adorable. And there were some pretty big complications during the pregnancy where we thought we were going to lose both Melissa and the baby, but everybody turned out fine. And he's a beautiful baby boy, and I can't get enough of him. Um, tonight, I hung out with my newest friend. Um, April is actually one of Melissa's best friends, and me and April have become really good friends. We're almost like the total copy of each other. We both are totally into the same things. We like to do the same things, talk about the same things. And Melissa had always told April that I was basically a clone of her. And then we talked on Facebook for a little while and finally met when Melissa had her baby last week. And it's just sparks have flown. So 
We had a fantastic time tonight. We went to Starbucks and then went to Michael's to get ideas for the wedding and all that. And she's so creative and awesome, and I'm so excited to have her help me out with some wedding stuff. Um, <clears throat> I also, Lexi, come here, come here, Lexi, come here, come here. I am babysitting this all week. Isn't she adorable? This is Lexi. She's a toy poodle. She's about four years old. And uh, one of my neighbors has gone to the Dominican Republic. Um, she's a surgeon in a local hospital, a resident surgeon. And um, she went to do some surgery at a hospital in the Dominican Republic and asked me to watch her doggy. And I'm so in love with her. She's still getting used to me and is terrified of me, especially when um, I put her little harness on to take her outside to use the potty. She doesn't like that harness. She turns into a completely different, per completely different puppy when I put that harness on her. But she's so adorable, and um, I already told Erin that I would be putting Lexi on on YouTube. So um, she's nervous. I can feel her little heart beating. So um, this is Lexi, and I'm taking care of her all week, and I'm so excited to have a furry creature in my apartment. And she's such a sweetheart. It just breaks my heart when she's terrified of me. But I think me and Kyle, when we get married, that we're going to save up for the pet fee at my apartment building and either get a cat or a small dog. Because if I got a big dog, I would want to have like a yard for it to run around him. Um, and with Lexi, I'm pretty convinced it's going to be a small dog, even though I always consider myself more of a cat person. So I have Jeno, my fish, which maybe I'll bring him on another day, but he's, he's not too cuddly. He doesn't like cut flips or chase little squeaky toys or anything. Well, um, I don't want to make this video as long as my other one, so I will wrap up with my question. <clears throat> I couldn't think of any. I'm so bad at thinking of stuff, so I basically randomly googled random questions. And I found some pretty stupid ones, but I did find one that kind of sparked a memory with me. Uh, have you ever shoplifted? <laughs> Funny story. Um, I don't remember how old I was. Maybe middle school? Wait, was it? Maybe it was junior high. I started hanging out with this girl and this guy that lived next to each other. And I thought everything was perfect with this girl at first. And then I started to get into some bad things with them, like not to the point of doing anything illegal or anything, almost, <laughs> I'm sure it would have led to that, but um, like, oops, wrong motion, <laughs> oh, see, I obviously don't do that, um, we were at Walmart one day, and they convinced me to shoplift this little plastic blue and silver bracelet, and I wore it for a couple weeks, every single day, and ended up almost wearing the paint off of it. And I felt so bad after I stopped hanging out with her. I stopped hanging out with her because she basically stole a necklace my dead grandfather gave me, and then gave it back to me for Christmas. Yeah, so I felt so bad after I stopped being friends with her that I took the bracelet back to Walmart, and they... They kind of laughed at me and just told me to keep it and just didn't even worry about it. So that's that's my story and I'm sticking to it. Um, I'm already getting near nine minutes. It's amazing where the time goes with these things. So um, thank you again, everyone, for the welcomes. And I look forward to watching more of your videos. I'm still catching up on all the past ones from before I joined last week. So forgive me while I'm still getting to know everybody. Hope you guys have a great week. Bye.